Hi, it's Dwyer. It's May the 29th, 2018. Let's talk about Callum Smith versus George Groves. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I'm not a Keynesian by any stretch of the imagination. But like John Maynard Keynes, when the facts change, my opinion changes. Now, I took Groves as an underdog against Chris Eubank. He delivered. I feel that George Groves, even as I sit here today, when healthy, is more talented than Callum Smith. All one has to do is look at how competitive the Groves Badu Jack fight was. And that was a very competitive fight. And then look at how well Badu Jack did against Nathan Cleverly and against Adonis Stevenson, a fight that was ruled a draw. Right? Well, let me just say this. I'm not going to take any guy, any guy, coming off a dislocated shoulder in his last fight, especially when that guy had to undergo surgery to repair the problem. Just understand, the guy could be great in the ring. He could be dominant in the ring. But if that shoulder pops, you lose. Also, folks, it's his left shoulder. His jab hand. Groves is an orthodox fighter, right? Groves uses that jab to keep opponents away from him. Now, you're telling me that a surgically repaired left shoulder in a fight against a front foot heavy unbeaten opponent is going to hold up. You feel that you know that with certainty. I don't. Let me point out, too, that the feints don't work when you have a busted wing. In other words, if I'm Callum Smith, I want George Groves faking like he's going to throw his surgically repaired left hand right? Um, left arm attached to a surgically repaired left shoulder, right? I want him to faint. I want him to think that faint's effective. I'm going to look at his left and I'm going to say to myself, this is surgically repaired. This guy's fighting just a few months after the surgery. It was dislocated. It was out of the socket in his last fight. I'll take my chances with it. Let me just say this too. You can imagine the clinches. If you're Callum Smith, who's 6'3", he's probably going to be grabbing Groves' left arm, isn't he? Twisting it, right? Try to be rough in the clinches because if you twist it the right way and it gets sore, George Groves might have flashbacks. Now, the reason why Gross' surgically repaired shoulder was so important is because, for some reason, it's not registering with the public in the betting market. You mean to tell me that Callum Smith is an underdog in this fight? Worse yet, the last time I looked, and you double-checked me on this, this fight's supposed to be 12 rounds. 12 rounds. Right? You're telling me that I'm getting... Three and a half to one odds on Callum Smith by stoppage. Folks, the way boxing works is if George Groves just pops his own shoulder out, if he and his corner say, damn it, the shoulder's a problem again, we need to stop the fight, you get the stoppage. That's whether or not Callum Smith caused it. And of course, you get a hungry, aggressive Callum Smith trying to make a name for himself against a guy with an untested, surgically repaired left shoulder, right? This is his first fight after you bank. Folks, sparring's not the same as being in a real fight. So, you know, no one says you have to bet a hedge all at once. 
All I'm saying to you is the casino is giving me seven to two. In other words, three and a half to one odds. On Callum Smith by stoppage, I'm taking it right here. I'll worry about the hedge side of the play later. I have a few months to worry about that, right? They're rescheduling this fight. By the way, that's another tip off here. Whenever they're talking about the date of a fight and it's up in the air and you hear one of the guys had surgery, don't kid yourself. The injury is more serious than being reported. Look at the last round against Eubank. All George Groves has to do is make it to the end of the fight and he wins it. Folks, look at how his arm is dangling. Even knowing that he just had to go three rounds, the guy couldn't even have the hand up to just use it as a, you know, shield. No, the guy couldn't raise his arm. It was that gone. Right? As part of my betting hedge, right here, I'm taking Callum Smith at three and a half to one to win by KO. I'll worry about the rest later, and I'll tell you when I come up with the other side of the play. But George Groves just had shoulder surgery. His arm was dislocated from the socket. In other words, stuff's torn up up here. Right? Just think about your own shoulder. For it to pop out, whoa, a lot of stuff has to go down. Then if someone pops it back in, do you think you're going to be able to use it as your jab hand against an unbeaten super middleweight? Come on. Callum Smith, three and a half to one by KO. Make that a part of your betting portfolio. Well, at least I'm just telling you what I'm going to do. We'll figure out the rest later. Thanks for stopping by.